Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. Today we are going to work on sort of a Wallpaper Wednesday project, but it is inspired by something I've mentioned a few times that I've always wanted to do from an interior design perspective, and that is to have a room that is all whites and creams and vintage ivory colors and just have layers upon layers of chippy paint and kind of a shabby chic, but monochromatic, if you will. And since it probably will never happen in my home, because that just seems like an accident waiting to happen, <laughs> I decided, well, let's work on making a monochromatic journal. And I'm not sure that any of you have probably done that. Um, you know, usually we have themes and we have colors and things, but I thought, well, let's take all of the design, interior design methods and apply that to creating a journal where we're building layer upon layer of just color. So if you will, you know, think of this as our foundation, um, our interior foundation. So this is like your walls and your flooring, and then you're building up around it with your furnishings and your accents and your, um, you know, your pillows and and art and that kind of thing. So that's kind of what we're going with. But before we get started, let's give a shout out to all of you for hanging out. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that because we are doing a giveaway soon and I um, have some amazing giveaway items for this time. I just realized I was doing something and uh, <laughs> I just coughed dyed a couple of things and set it aside and it's right I had it sitting right above on a big piece of wallpaper like this um, but it was kind of off of the edge of the of the counter and the dog is sleeping underneath there so I don't want it dripping on poor Zenny's little head <laughs> poor baby um but make sure that you subscribe and you know if you have questions along the way please please ask I'm happy to answer any questions that you have uh, or help you out if this is something that you're interested in. And then we have um, some friends, not new subscribers necessarily, but recent um, comments from uh, my friend Patty from Just Journaling with Possum Patty, uh, Elizabeth Collier, who is a new subscriber, and uh, the girl that I call my enabler, Pam Van E. Um, yeah, I watch her videos and then I end up... <laughs> Oh, buying something I probably don't need. But I, so I always tell her, okay, thanks for enabling me. I appreciate it. So hi, Pam. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be our base. We made this in a previous video. I have not stitched around it. I will. Uh, but I think I'm going to do kind of an ivory colored thread, which means I have to change out my thread and bobbin and, you know, how much I love doing that. But I grabbed just a bunch of neutrals and I thought we would start with making our signature and we'll see um, what we end up with. I have a few pieces of uh, paper who I don't, uh, this, I believe I got on Amazon and is called, maybe it's called embroider or embroidery or I don't know. Uh, this is a piece of wallpaper. I'm questioning whether I wanna use this because I know you might not be able to tell. This is almost like a brownie, pinkish brown and so is this so I don't know I don't know if that will necessarily work these two would work great but we'll we'll think about it um this is just a little outdoorsy wallpaper and then let's just look at what we've got for potential signature stuff all right let me pull this aside I've been throwing stuff in here thinking about what we could use. Um, we're just going to go ahead and probably start. Let's see. I should probably measure before I do that. <laughs> that would be good, Ange. Um, let's see. So I want this to be sorry, 10 inches. I just want to make sure I'm correct. Oh, yeah, yo. So what have you guys been up to? Um, 
as we, yeah, 10 inches. Okay, so as we are, as I'm filming this, um, Dave is on his way back from the Boundary Waters. Uh, so if any of you are from way north in Minnesota or Canada, you know that this time of year, the bugs are a little bit crazy. And uh, it had taken a little while longer than normal for the ice thaw. So um, he said there wasn't a lot of you know, people out and about, uh, but they, uh, his buddy, he went with my brother and, um, and then two friends and his one friend um, that they drove up together said, I, I can't do this. Like this is, he was so eaten up with bugs. Uh, I think, there we go. Perfect. 10 inches. Um, I think my brother and his buddy had um, like this, except obviously we don't want to use the Christmas paper. Um, bug, like even bug nets for their faces. Uh, and I guess at least one of the guys didn't. I don't know about Dave if he did or not. Uh, so they cut their trip really short. They weren't supposed to be back until Friday or Saturday. It is only, at the time of me recording this, is only Tuesday. So that was kind of a surprise, but it is his, it is Dave's birthday today. So that will be kind of fun. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's fold it in half to 10. Oh, I guess that's only, hmm. I'm wondering if I should do, I kind of don't want to, you see what I'm saying? I kind of only want this to be, I don't want to cut it. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. And it's not coming out. So, maybe I'll just fold this in a little bit more. And then we can decide what to do with that. This is kind of, this is a watercolor paper. And it's going to need to be cut down. Probably, let's see. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll cut it down a little bit. So now we have three, three pieces. I don't know how many we're gonna do. I don't want this to be a huge journal, uh, but my thought was that we would do this from start to finish and we might make some ephemera It's eight and a half, so I'm going to go at eight uh, as we go to add to it. Because I have some things that we can probably use, uh, but I think that it'd be kind of fun to create some more. All right, so three pieces. Okay. I keep moving this over. Okay, I got to tell you guys this. Uh, I feel like I have lots of things to tell you and then I can't remember any of them. Um, this is, you will not have seen this yet, but this is from uh, one of my, oh, garage sale or yard sale. It was a church yard sale. <clears throat> I think we're going to have to cut that down a little bit. Finds and there were some copies in there. <clears throat> of some original scores from that somebody had done. The reason that I am cutting this down, uh, just so you know, is as you add pages, obviously, I'm gonna just cut that off too. Uh, they start to, as you put one inside of the other inside of the other, It kind of bulk, bulks out, if you will, and it's hard, like, then they don't all fit nicely. So let me, remember, this is one that we just did Midori style, and it, we want it to fold over. So we don't want these to keep coming out farther and farther. So as we go, and depending on where we put it, we might have to trim pages off. So how many pages do we have? One, two, three, four. 
Only four Jiminy Christmas. <clears throat> okay, I think we're going to not use this one for right now just because... I think it's a little too yellow. This is some typing paper. So let's let's give this a let's give this a nice fold here and then in half to make it kind of skinny. And how far? We're at eight and a half, so let's tear this off at eight and a quarter. Oh, I have a feeling this will be too, too fragile for me to rip, so I'm just going to put these there. So we have two of these, so let's use both of these. And let's do this one. Let's do this one at ten. Uh, let's do it at 10 and what is that? Seven eighths. And you know that I use, I mean, nine and seven eighths, not 10 and seven eighths. Uh, Dave just changed the blade for me on this. So it's super sharp, but when I use them, <clears throat> I always use a, a ruler or something next to it because I don't want to cut my phalanges off. Okay, let's just cut this off. Oh, Demi's home and she doesn't know I'm... I did text them and say I'm doing some videos, but we're just going to... Oh, geez. I was like, how is she... Talking to the dog when the dog's right here. A little sneaky McSneakerson must have heard her coming home. She loves her kiddos, that's for sure. We're going to go ahead and do this. To both the corners so we can kind of keep it a little authentic. As you can tell, you can see how she uh, <laughs> talks to her dog. That no wonder she likes. Zenny loves her. How was practice? Good. I don't know what time she left this morning, but it was early, and it's probably one o'clock in the afternoon now. Girl, they have long practices, but. Good. It keeps them out of trouble, right? Oh, I didn't check to see how tall this was. That should be okay. Let's see. We've got some blue skies. Wait. Maybe that's a different song. Because it's a foxtrot. Is blue skies a foxtrot? I don't know. <laughs> For all you dancing people out there. Hmm. You let me know. I'm going to use the hair roll. I haven't used this in ages, it seems. I'm sure that's not the same song. <clears throat> I'm, t I'm horrible at remembering song. Like, who wrote the song, who played the song, who what the song name is. I'm like, you know that song that goes like this? And then I start singing. <laughs> uh, I'm just cutting off some of this white space. And then we'll get it to a correct length. I'm going to go nine and a half on that. And that would be a good piece of... And the fascinating waltz. Okay, let's see how many pages we have. So you can kind of see we've just got. I just want you to kind of to envision what I'm envisioning. 
I mean, these are all creams and we need some white in there. So I think we're gonna grab out some more. This might be, this might not make the cut because it's a little yellowy, but we'll leave it in for right now. Why didn't I count while I was doing that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, we need to do at least, I don't want this to be a huge, huge one. Some, at least 10, maybe, because I'm going to add in, I've got these envelopes and other things. So let's do a couple pieces of wallpaper that are a little more white. Let's see what we like here. Stop me when you see something you love. I need something that's more towards this lighter white. No, no. Possible. Possible. No. Too yellow. No. Oh, I like that. That would be fun to write on, too. That would be good, too. <laughs> Should we just stop while we're ahead? I think we will. These, by the way, um, let's see, when will you guys, yes, the sale will still be, be going on in the Etsy shop for June. It's, uh, school's out for summer and, um, everything in the Etsy shop is 20% off, including all of my wallpaper samples and these we can just fold right in half because they're already eight by 10. Um, all my wallpaper samples, all of... And see, I like this too, even with that color. I'm doing some just one way and some the other. Um, all the digitals, just everything. Um, I spent this morning organizing. I was getting, I was getting to a point where like things were in different spots and it was driving me crazy. So I put all. I think that's enough pages for primary pages. Oh wait. Hold on. <laughs> now I'm going to get, this is going to get all chunky. I made these. These are one of my digitals. It is not on uh, Etsy. That might come in. We might think about that. But I just kind of played around and made up a few. But some of the colors I think are a little too pinky. I, In all honesty, they probably aren't as pink, but my... Um, Oh, I like that too. But that does not look too black and white. Probably. Okay. We're done. We're done with paper. Uh, my ink, I it was set. I had been doing some photos for Landon for graduation for his party. And I had it on photo paper and for the cookbook that I did. Um, so, oh. I did do the, um, this is going against my rules. Here, we'll just use this one. I don't want it to have other colors in it. All righty. So I was starting to tell you something. Let's put these all together the, right, the way we want them. I think we want a piece of wallpaper. Let's put this piece of wallpaper on the outside. Then we'll do that. This one, put that one. What do we got here? Let's just flip through. So we have that. I think we need something different here. Let's do this one here. This. How about the waltz? I gotta make sure these are all the right. How's that look? Four, I'm counting. Five, six, seven. This has got to go. Eight. Let's do this. Up. No. Nine. Hmm. I'm 
saying no. Well, there's 10. And here was the other one we had. I do like that. Let's add it in some more. How about right here? Okay, so we have 11 pages in our signature. And look, now we have, I mean, this is all pretty much just layer upon layer of white, cream, tan, beige. That's it. So that went a lot quicker than I expected. Um, I think we need to add in maybe one or two envelopes. So we have... Hmm. I kind of like this one. I'll put that here. And I will I will sew this and put um, the signature in off camera because we've done that many times. I'm just going to do this Midori Dory style. So if you haven't, go back to Wallpaper Wednesdays and you can see how I bind them. Simply, I poke holes here and here about an inch from the top and the bottom. I put a eyelet in, I use elastic to um, bind it, and then I finish the cover. So it's that easy. All right, so we've added that. Oh, here is the other, this is what else I'm, this is what was almost to be dripping on Zenny's head. But I've got a coffee filter, I've got these cute little, they're called lotto envelopes, glassine envelopes that I just found in my stash. And these, which I thought were hot dog wrappers, which are not. Uh, and they're just drying, so I think we can use those for something, too. Uh, but I also have, look at this. Don't you think we should use this? Just, like, cut this off, and we're going to. Because I love that color. And this, you know, the thing with the um, monochromatic uh, neutrals is that the, it really does make a, if you're going to do, like, a grungy, I'm not really into to grungy. Um, let's see how that looks. There's something in here. Oh my gosh, there's something in here. Stamps. Holy moly. We're gonna have to give this some love here, friends. Look at that. Well, since these glassine bags are in here, we're gonna have to put these aside and see if we can find stamps that are neutral. Or at least use that little glassine bag. That's a nice little... Surprise. Um, but these neutrals, I mean, you can do, you know, any level of, all I'm doing is just gluing this shit because it was, I mean, gosh, only, well, this is, oh, this is from everything for the stamp dealer. I have no idea how old this is. I'm wondering if we just, is it going to be too fragile? If I just fold it. And make that maybe a secret pocket. Let's just fold it in half and see. Nervous. That might work. Uh, you know what we can do? Let's take some of the... Of my faux vintage tape. And we'll actually use the one that's the medical tape. Or no, what was this? What kind of tape was this? I can't remember. Something that was old that I got in an auction and I didn't think it would work. And it did. We'll put some of that on there. I didn't think the tape would. I thought the tape would be like junk. But <laughs> it's actually pretty durable. Not after I've stained it. Okay, come on, lay down. See, it's, it's sturdy. Um, I need some scissors. How much time have we been going? Only 24 minutes. We're making some progress. We could just stick a couple of these like here. This needs a little love, a little TLC. Let's make it look a little more vintage. A little piece right there.
I'm just looking and seeing if there's anywhere else that we need. We might need something up here. Let's use another one of these. Can you see that? For safety's sake, I'm just going to use as much as... Hang on. a little bit tricky. I'm not going to be that neat about it. I'm just going to kind of, hi honey. She must really want to be in on the action today because she's choosing her mama over her sister today. I, Demi had um, games yesterday and so you know, I can't take her to the ball field obviously. There's some fields that you can, but not that one. And Landon was working, so we're going to have to do something there, too. Uh, she was lonely, I think. Poor baby. She never, she doesn't get left alone very often. Do you use any boo? No. All right. We're going to leave that chunk of tape out just in case we need it. Re well. Let's turn that on the... Well, that side didn't need it. Okay. So we've got a couple of envelopes. We'll put that right here. Good to go there. So here's what I have left. And we're just going to kind of... Uh, that's a maybe for later. We can probably put these away. I kind of like the fact that these are white. So, or whiter. This is really white. So let's save that for a page. Call in Noah that. Ooh. That I think we should consider. Here, this is a tea bag. We'll con consider that. This is all for ephemera. I'm just putting it aside. These are some words that I did. These are all scraps, so we'll keep those. We've already said these are going. Um, I'm just trying to... Where did this come from? Hmm. I do not know, but I love it. Okay, we'll keep that out for a possibility. We already have... Well, here's the other... Uh, why do I keep saying envelopes? These are pretty different colors, so maybe we'll keep them both out just in case. Oh, and then this we should probably use for a page. Let's do something different with this. And we might use more of this later. We'll put all that up for... Because um, this is pretty, pretty fragile. My goal was to get through everything in layer number one. Okay, this is an old placemat. So, we need it to be... We're going to make this only seven and three, looks like three quarters. And then... Let's do, we need it to, let's fold it over to 10. And then I think what we'll do is fold it over again. Let's see how this works inside here. It's kind of fragile, so it might not work how I was thinking. My thought was, whoop. Oh, it should be okay. I feel like I need to cut just a little bit of this off. Let's do that real quick. And I'm only cutting off like maybe well, that didn't work well. 
a half an inch off. Uh, so yesterday was a very productive day. Um, besides doing some organizing in my craft room, I just want to take a couple. I don't mind this being a little raggedy. Um, so I organized all my greeting cards, which I realized um, <laughs> I, I need no more for a very, very, very long time. Okay, we're getting a little long here. We're gonna have to cut more of this off. And now we have some acetate too that's from our... So I did that, but before I did that, it was such a beautiful morning. Now I know I have, I pulled on my, I keep a sweatshirt down here, a little hoodie. Oh gosh, I've gotta be very gentle um, down here because it's chilly. Um, but it's beautiful today and was yesterday and it was a little bit cooler yesterday. So I planted, I know I'm way behind, which is ridiculous because I don't even know if they're going to bloom, but I did plant some perennials to see some Shasta daisies and some Shasta daisy-esque things that are, um, color, you know, different colors, not just white and yellow. And some foxglove, um, some po California poppies, which in the in the U.S. in um, Iowa, they are annuals. I mean, I think I don't know. In some parts of the country, if they're, you know, what I have that I can use here. This is a sticker. Let's do that. And we'll make something to put on that. Um, yeah, but they're only annuals here. So uh, what else did I plant? Did I plant gladiolus? I planted some really tall ones. Everything I cut, I wanted to have to use for a cutting garden. Because I, Dave buys me, bless his little heart. He's the best. He knows I love flowers. I had to do this off camera. And um, he buys me flowers pretty much every week which is awesome and so if I can give him a break and get some for my own garden he can go cut him if he wants for me <laughs> but um I just I love to have fresh flowers now the ones that I have not planted and I know they'll do fine and they'll bloom all the way till mm, September, sometimes depending on the weather till October in Iowa, are zinnias, which are another one of my favorites. And so I'm just going to, I did not, all the only vegetables that I planted this year uh, were, oh, I made a good old mess out of that, didn't I? Our lettuce and radishes. Um, and then we have some uh, green onions that just keep coming up every year and that's fine. But I just decided... Oh, and tomatoes. Uh, I'm not messing. I'm like, I, you know, I usually do peppers and cucumbers and the whole schmaltz. And then we'll put something here, a label or something, when we start to embellish it so we'll keep it closed. Um, and I'm like, nope, I'm doing flowers this year. All right, are we okay? Yep, we're still good. Sweet. All right, well, we've got all of our signatures. When we come back... We're going to start embellishing some of these pages. Uh, and I might just wait um, to sew until the very end. Um, these big pieces, these 12 by 12s, did not make the cut. So we will come back next time. I will have cleaned up my mess. And then I'm going to search through um, some of my pre-made ephemera or uh, things that are almost done and see what else I can find um, and maybe 
kind of make a plan as to what we want to add to this. But what we will do next time is we'll just add layer upon layer. We'll add some laces, some trims, uh, some ephemera, some pockets, and um, all using a monochromatic, um, I'm not saying theme, design plan. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, one last flip through, and there's no real rule about this, except, you know, make it so that, you know, you're getting these layers. Like, this has several different shades of the whites and the creams, and I don't know how good it looks. It always looks better when it's published than it does when I'm looking through the camera, but um, lots of whites with some creams. This is a perfect example of that. Um, we do still have those um, pieces that are drying. This is kind of pushing the envelope, if you will, a little bit because it's got kind of an orangey print on it, but I think it will be okay. And then that contrast next to that, I love that that's, you know, that white with the, um, you know, I, I do love that. So like, let's say like that, eh, not, maybe not that one, like there, or even here, you know, just maybe touch it up with a little distress photo or vintage photo. So we're in good shape. Awesome. Okay. So until next time, friends, and when you stop back and see your next, it will be um, the monochromatic journal and it will be part two. And then we'll be able to finish this up and call it good and have a little play. So until next time, friends, remember to, remember to take time to just be, and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.